Imagination, imagination. everyone, welcome to Animal Kingdom. It has aliens, it has dinosaurs, it has animals, it has everything. But most of all, it has some really interesting restaurants with some very unique food options. So we're gonna check those out today on Eat the Magic. Sausage bowl. So it's kind of made up of a lot of different little things here. We have this rice tastes like rice. Hold on, I'm I think it's absorbing some of the flavor of the stuff around it. Tastes nice. A little bit of salad here. This thing's really sweet. A little different. Mm. A little bit of spice to the dressing for the salad. That's different. It's like sweet and spicy at the same time. It's huh. Kind of like that. on the outside. I don't know if they can tell on the camera there. So you had a very crisp outside and you have a very soft inside. They actually were able to cook it like that. It's a little bit of spray type stuff in the middle. Let's see if I can just get a little flavor of that. It's immediately grabbing onion. It's like salsa or something. Salsa is the wrong word for it. But it reminds me of salsa. It probably goes pretty good with the... Yeah. It reminds me of a salsa. Um, it's different. Works really with the rice. I never would have thought putting like a salsa rice combination, but there you go. Different. There's a lot of mixed flavors in there. It's a little bit of spice. I generally approve. I like getting surprised this kind of way, where it's just something different. One of the other offerings is the Simba Cupcake. There's a nice little topper here, which is, mm. And it's held together pretty good. We got this, we got the rest of the food, and it's not like the heat isn't making it disintegrate or fall apart. And it was just like, wrapping around it, which is going to make this kind of awkward to eat, I think. But I hate to like ruin the cookie part, but we're going to ruin the cookie part. Okay, the main is all regular frosting, flavored frosting. Um, you can see it's like a white chocolate kind of thing. Done. I wish I had a place to set this so I could get the rest of it. Yeah. 
Okay. So this guy's gonna be a little bit messy. So, okay. I think it's basically a standard vanilla frosting. Let me like get this cup part. There we go. You can see inside, it's not like your standard cupcake holder. It's a unique kind of thing. And I need to get to it so I can get a bite. It's um, you can use your basic yellow cupcake with the uh, vanilla frosting. Uh, I like the theming of it. It's interesting that it's done like a wrapping like this. I've never seen wrapping like this before. It's not bad. I mean, but it's cupcakes. A cupcake. I, just, I don't mean to be so blase as that on it. But I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a good cupcake. But it is a cupcake, so. It's not like it has a unique flavor or anything else to it. It's just like a nice little coin and vanilla with uh, just a yellow cake. It's tasty though. So we went to Trail of Bites over in Dino Land, USA, which is way better than Dino Lambs Canada. Yeah, take that, Dino Lambs Canada. And we got ourselves some buffalo chips here. Okay, are they? <laughs> it's only legit chips. All right. A little bit like barbecue chips, but. To get one of actual stuff on it. Mm. That's different. I mean, obviously these are comparable to like nachos, but because of the chip type. I don't normally dip like chips and blue cheese. These are uh, pretty good here. There's little chunks of chicken. I mean, you can't tell if this is chicken, but it's chicken. No. Yeah. Your buffalo chicken. You got your ton of blue cheese here, which is great. A whole lot of chips. It's a nacho-like experience, but obviously very different. The chips are pretty good too. Got a little bit of a spiciness to it, it seems like. Let's try to get a little everything on there. Yeah, not bad. It's not crazy spicy or anything either, so anyone's worried about, oh, is it the buffalo will be too hot? Nah, it's a little bit of spiciness in there, but I mean, like, come on. <laughs> I guess by my standards, it's a low spice. Maybe by someone else's standards, it'll be like, oh, and no one should be going like, that's way too hot. So you'll be good. An interesting little snack option here that uh, sets the place apart because I don't know where else you would find something like this. I've never seen a combination like this before. here at Animal Kingdom with Eat the Magic. I'm over at Trilobites and I got the Trilobite Dole Whip. This is an awesome combination of their orange Dole Whip and vanilla. The green is actually vanilla and it has a wonderful mild creamsicle taste. This is great if you're acid averse like myself and you want a sweet Dole Whip treat that's fun. It's creamy. It's like Biting into the center of a creamsicle and getting a big hunk of the cream and the orange. Perfect. And now I've been talked into having to try to find toilet. 
Let's take a big bite out of this. I need to, I need to see this for myself. Oh. No burn. Mm. Mm. So good. Oh. People don't rest on anything that is orange and vanilla mixed ice cream. It is one of the best flavors. It is super underrated. And the fact that they do a dole whip of that here blows my mind. It makes me so happy. We made our way into the land of Pandora, and we are at the Satuli Canteen to try out some of their food options. They have some interesting bowls here with a lot of ways to combine them and customize them to your taste. And I'm looking forward to eating as much as possible. All right, so first up in all our food here at the, at the uh, canteen is the uh, Pandoran sun Sunset. There's a little piece of fruit there. It has like a, just from the smell, it's kind of a tangerine, Hair, maybe? Mm. It smells nice. It's a nice fruity smell to it. Let's take a sip. Mm. There's some tanginess there. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, hmm. Uh, a little more, a little more of that like citrusy bitterness, uh, the sourness that I'm not <laughs> the hugest fan of because it gets a little overwhelming for me. It is refreshing though. It's kind of has that crisp like certain kinds of fruit juices that when you're overheating and you just take a sip, a sip of it, you suddenly just feel so much cooler. This does have a bit of that to it. Uh, for people who don't like sour, it might not be the best for them. <laughs> but it is, it is an interesting flavor. It, it feels fitting with like the world, I guess. <laughs> Being that it feels like trying to figure out the, what the blend is, is very difficult to do. Or if they told me this is from, you know, Zubazaba fruit from the planet, I'd just go, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's from. Uh, not a bad little drink though. So I choose to go with the beef. Uh, one of the things that makes this unique is that you can choose your meat. Um, you can then choose your base, which is you know, a different type of... Um, see if I can move some guys down here so you can kind of see. Get a little stuff under that it's, it means it's on top of, and then you get your sauce as well. So let's go a bite here and dip in the sauce. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, the beef is so tender and, and juicy. Oh, my God. I get some of the potato. Yeah, I chose the hash base because I thought that might be interesting. Plus, you know, beef and potatoes go together well. Pretty good. We got uh, on the potato side of things, and then the uh, sauce here. Pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure. The problem is when you when you know that there's so many options to choose. Is this the best one or is this the right one? You always have that problem of going like, oh, maybe I should have gone with the such and such. Maybe I should have gone with the such and such. So, but I, I will say that the uh, beef with the potato actually works really well because I mean, come on, that's a that's a good classic. sauce uh, adds a little like of a vegetable-y kind of taste to it, so it's just a little alternate flavor. It doesn't clash, which is good. And it kind of feels like a unique kind of meal you wouldn't really get anywhere else, even though there are places I know where you can have your bowl with your meat on top and your sauce, but this gives some interesting choices that I do kind of like. So just having, you know, the potato and vegetable I just ate. Mm. Got some carrots and stuff here too. Yeah. Very, very different kind of setup for doing the bowl. I actually really like this. 
I'm glad to be able to, able to give it a chance. So one of the options that's on the kid menu and as a meat option is the cheeseburger bao, which feels a little sacrilegious to me, but I'm going to take a bite anyways. I mean, it does taste like cheeseburger. Um, it's odd. I, d I don't hate it. I would never order it myself. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm, um, people, there's really good meat options. You don't have to eat this ever. It's not terrible. It's just, eh. So this is my hot take on the cheeseburger bow. Uh, this is a close up of the filling. On the description, it talked about how it's basically, you know, cheese, uh, burger cheese, ketchup, mustard, all mixed together. I was expecting a bit of a too much melange on the inside, but it's actually more in the spirit of a cheeseburger dumpling. You get more of a special sauce kind of a taste as opposed to a mixing of ketchup and mustard. The bow itself can be a little dry, so that's why I would definitely ask for a side of the uh, herb-based creamy dressing, which is also great to dip your fries in. The fries are actually really good. They have a little give to them. They're really nice. You can tell they make them here. And I would say I got this as the kids menu. Um, kids menu comes with one bow. The full option comes with two, uh, depending on how hungry you are, um, because we tried other things. So definitely recommend kids meals. Go with kids meals. Thank you. All right. I think this dessert was recommended to me Oh, forever and a half ago. But this is the blueberry cream cheese mousse. Has a nice look to it. It's very spacey. Take a... Mm. Oh, there's the blueberry flavor. <laughs> Comes in the end. It's kind of weird because it tastes a lot like a um, a piece of cheesecake, but it's it's texture and um, and consistency is different. It's like gelatinous almost, but not like a Jello, but more like like a flan where it, it is. <clears throat> It's both liquid and solid at the exact same moment um, with a blueberry cheesecake kind of flavor to it. It's, huh, I actually really like this. I mean, mousse is a good term for it. It also has kind of that, you know, it's very much a mousse. It's, it's a little more solid. Most mousses I have are more fluff. This is not as fluff as a regular mousse for sure. Top stuff here. Oh. It's a little uh, candy that I just completely crushed instead of showing you. Yeah, that's just pure sugar. So Tom Butch just kind of pure sugar. It's completely crushed apart because of I destroyed the integrity of it by eating pieces of it. It's different in terms of like the, the like I said the, the texture and the consistency. The flavor is really good. It's like a really good blueberry cheesecake. I love this. This is able to have like a, it feels like it would be something from another planet, but it doesn't rely on tricks like, oh, we're gonna put like just food coloring on top of a donut. You know, and instead of like a regular chocolate donut, it's a purple chocolate donut. Yeah. When you can actually do this, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of food coloring probably for the blue uh, to make it a little more bright like that, but you get something that is unique and flavorful and that sets it apart as a dessert option versus just here's an orange colored uh, a chocolate chip cookie or a, a green slice of uh, vanilla cake. It's been a crazy adventure here at Animal Kingdom. We have gone around the world and even to space and have found some amazing food options. And the thing is, every time we passed a place, we found new things we wanted to try. 
I, I feel like I could do a whole video series based on the food of Animal Kingdom, which is crazy to think about, but very possible because whoever they got here to be the culinary staff has done an amazing job creating some very interesting food combinations that I can't wait to try more of at a later date. If you liked this episode, please like and subscribe and check out our description for ways to support the channel, including my Ko-Fi where you can suggest food for me to eat. Maybe I'll eat something at Animal Kingdom that you want me to do next time I'm here. Until next time, thank you for watching. And of course, remember, eat the magic. You can have a single vacation without him ruining my day. Whee!